Good day and welcome to Space Station Live for Monday, November 25th, 2013. You're looking live inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where at this hour, the Orbit 2 team of flight controllers is on duty, having uh, assumed their positions for the uh, second half of the crew workday several hours ago, and which will be on console through the mid-afternoon time frame. At this hour, on console, uh, leading the team here in Houston is Flight Director Mike Lammers, uh, the second from your right in the blue shirt. To his right, on the uh, top of the screen, is spacecraft communication Josh Matthew, who uh, is talking directly to the crew on board the International Space Station when required throughout the course of the day. The International Space Station, its systems in excellent shape, currently uh, traveling 262 statute miles above the Earth, flying over Southeast Asia in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator, an orbit that uh, is currently uh, moving from southwest to northeast that will carry uh, the station and its six crew members across the North Pacific a short time from now. On board the International Outpost, the six-man crew comprised on uh, your left by Mikhail Turin, Koichi Wakata of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and Rick Mastracchio, currently in their 19th day in space since their launch uh, in early November, several weeks ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. And on the right side, uh, Sergei Rozanski, the current Expedition 38 commander, Oleg Kotov, and NASA flight engineer Michael Hopkins, who are now in their 64th first day in space, uh, nearing the end of nine weeks in orbit since they were launched from Baikonur in their Soyuz spacecraft uh, on September 26th. The uh, Thanksgiving week and the holiday atmosphere abounds here in Mission Control as uh, this team of flight controllers working in concert with the flight control teams around the world are counting down the hours to the launch of a new resupply ship to the International Space Station some four hours and 50 minutes from now. The launch of the Progress uh, 53 cargo ship, the Russian unpiloted resupply craft, is scheduled for 2.53 and 6 seconds p.m. Central Time this afternoon, 2.53 a.m. Baikonur Time at the Baikonur Cosmodrome at the launch site in uh, south-central Kazakhstan uh, in the wee hours of Tuesday morning. Our NASA TV coverage of launch will begin at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. That will send the progress on a nine-minute uh, trip to its preliminary orbit where it will separate from its third stage, deploy its solar arrays and navigational antennas, and begin an extended four-day trip to the International Space Station uh, through the testing of uh, a new upgraded CORS automated rendezvous system. We'll be talking to Flight Director Jerry Jason here in a few minutes to uh, get all the details on uh, the testing of that system that will result in a docking uh, to the aft uh, port of the Zvezda service module on Friday afternoon. The uh, Progress, uh, which is poised on its launch pad in Baikonur, uh, rolled out to uh, the Site 31 launch pad on Saturday. It is now just after 10 p.m. in Baikonur, uh, some 12 hours ahead of Houston, uh, where the temperature is uh, just below freezing, about 27 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, with some scattered clouds in the sky, but the countdown proceeding on track for a launch uh, a little less than five hours from now. The Progress is equipped uh, and loaded with almost three tons of uh, food, fuel, supplies, and holiday gifts for the Expedition 38 crew. And again, uh, you're looking at a picture here of uh, its encapsulation into the uh, third and uh, stage uh, in the upper stage of the uh, Soyuz booster that will propel it to orbit later today. Uh, the uh, progress uh, will be on its way uh, for uh, a four-day rendezvous that will culminate in a docking, as we said, on Friday afternoon. The uh, almost three tons of uh, supplies on board that Progress consists of 1,763 pounds of propellant, 48 pounds of oxygen, 57 pounds of air, some 925 pounds of water, and just over 3,100 pounds of dry cargo that includes experiment hardware, spare parts, and holiday gifts for the six crew members on board the International Space Station.